Hey, welcome to another tutorial on how to create DMODs. This is the second tutorial in placing sprites. So as you can see, I've opened the DMOD that we created earlier. And we're going to go in there. And once again, we're going to enter sprite mode by pressing R. Just make sure you're in sprite mode. Then you're going to press E. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place people. So, we'll grab a person right here. Uh, we'll go for this green dude right over here he's sequence 381 and you want to make sure that he is not set to hard so hold space make sure that the grey box is hollow on the bottom of him in his hard box right click and press properties and make sure he's set to type person slash creature and that's about it. You don't want no hit on. Now, what you'll notice is if we try this out right now, press OK. Press play D mod under file. Windowed sound play. What you'll notice is that he just stands there. He doesn't move, he doesn't do anything. That isn't very useful. That's not going to make for a very interesting D-Mod if we have people just standing in one place, like a statue. Unless, of course, you want a statue in your D-Mod. So what you want to do is right-click and press Properties. Now, in order to make him move, we have to give him a brain. This is what will control his behavior. So, if you go right down here, uh, you can set him to Creature 9 or Creature 10. 9's Diag or 10's No Diag. But usually for people, you want to send it to brain 16, right here. It says smart people, and they'll walk around, and they'll stop, and they'll change directions and walk again, and they're, they're usually what you set for people. So set him to brain 16, and now try it. Press OK. Save the D-Mod. Play. Start. And what you'll notice is he still doesn't move. And the reason for this is... Okay, now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you what... Each step, so you can see what it does. The reason that he doesn't move yet, you want to go to properties. We haven't given him a speed yet. Speed's still zero. So you can set his speed to one or two or... I'm going to set it to one. And his timing slash delay also affects how fast or slow he moves. Just leave that on 33 for now. Now press OK. Save the D-Mod. Play D-Mod. Start. As you can see, he moves now. But you'll notice something weird about him. He, he's not moving his feet. He's just sliding along the screen. Just a static graphic. So once again, we can fix that. Right click and press properties. And the reason he isn't moving is because we haven't set his base walk. That's right down here. Now this is what's going to decide, it's going to uh, tell the game what sequences to use for each direction that he walks in. And this will be decided using a base sequence. In this case, the base walk. I'm going to explain this to you because you really need to understand this for later when we're scripting. Now, if you've got a base walk of negative 1, it means no base walk. Okay? Now, what you'll notice is... Okay, what I want you to do is look, look down at your keyboard at the moment. Look at the numpad on the right of your keyboard. And look at all the numbers. Except for the 5. Ignore the 5. And each, every other number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9, each one of those numbers can be assigned a direction, uh, depending on where they are on the numpad. So, for instance, 8 is up, 2 is down, 4 is left, 6 is right. So, if you look at your numpad, you can see what I mean by that. 8 is in the up position, 2 is down, 4 is left, 6 is right. And what you'll notice is also 1, 3, 7, and 9 can be assigned directions. So 1 would be down left, 
3 would be down right, 7 would be up left, 9 would be up right. See, so if you look at your numpad, you can easily see that. Okay, so the reason I wanted you to look at that is because each one of those is a direction number. So the direction number for down is 2. The direction number for up is 8. The direction number for right is 6. The direction number for left is 4, and etc. Okay, so that's an easy way to always remember what the direction numbers are by looking at your numpad. Now, if you press E and press Escape to go back to the sequence page, what you'll notice is that with this green guy, let's grab him walking in every direction and place him on the map for a minute. So go back and grab each one of his directions, place him down on the map and this screen. Now, what you'll notice here is that if you right click and press properties on this one, he, he's walking down right. Look at the last digit on the sequence, it's 3. Now if you look down at your numpad, 3 is down right. So, that's actually the the base sequence for this sprite is actually 380. And I'll show you why, if we right click on this one also and press properties. He's walking down left and he's, the last digit is 1. 1 on your numpad is down left. Look at this one. 9. He's walking upright, and the direction number on your numpad for 9 is upright. So you can see the pattern here. He's walking up left. 7. The direction number on your numpad for 7 is up left. So that's how it works. And you'll notice that this is all in the 380s. So basically with a base sequence, all the game is going to do is you're going to give it the base walk right here of 380. So you want to put the... Actually, that's not the sprite we're editing. Get these out of the way. This is the sprite we were editing that's got the brain right here. So you edit the base walk and change it to 380. So now all the game can do to determine what sequence to use for each direction of this sprite when it's walking is take the base walk and add the direction onto it. So let's say the game wants it to walk up left. 7 is up left, so it'll add 7 on there. That's not the base walk, but... If you add 7 onto the sequence, right here, this is what the game will do. It'll change to up left in the game. And it'll play through that sequence. You can see there it's walking if you press E. So that's that's what it can do. If it, when the game wants it to walk down left, the number for down left is 1. So it'll add 1 onto the base walk, which is 380. So you can see how that works for the game. Now delete all these extra sprites. Remember that this one's the one we edited with the brain and the speed. That is the concept of a base sequence. Now the reason I'm saying base sequence is because there's also other things that we'll be learning up later that uses base sequence. Such as the base attack and the base death. It uses the same idea. The base attack will be used... will set the base sequence to determine the attack of a sprite. The same way that we did for the base walk, but we won't be doing that yet. Now, what you'll notice is, the sprites will also walk down, up, left, and right. And, if you go into here, the numbers for down, up, left, and right are 2, 8, 4, and 6. You'll notice that there is no sequence number for 2, 8, 4, and 6 on this sprite. That does not matter one bit. The game will simply... Take the base sequence, 380, say it wants the sprite to move down, it'll add 2 onto that, so it'll get 382. There is no 382. So the game will take the closest, the closest other sequence there is to 382 and use that to walk down. So that's what will happen when it doesn't have those sequences, it'll still work. Now let's set the base walk to 380, it was already on that, but whatever. You can also press auto to do this, but... You really need to learn this, so that's why I explained it. And we're going to test out this person and see if it moves now. So press play D mod, like I just did. Save it first. And what you'll notice is, the person now walks. And you'll see the concept of that, like I was explaining. It's using the base sequence. It's just adding on 
the direction that it needs. That's that's how it's determining which sequence to use when it walks. So that was how to place people and the concept of a base walk and base sequences in general. I'm just going to leave that person there. We might use him in the later tutorials. So I'm not going to delete him. And you can play around with that if you want. And I'll see you next time. Bye.